So the story for today is that a man from Zimbabwe claimed to have invented a device that can convert radio frequencies into energy. And by radio frequencies, I mean the same one that we use to get our TV channels from via the antenna, the same radio frequencies too that we used in making our phone calls. That's what he's saying that he can use or he can harness the power from those radio frequencies and convert it to energy that can be used to power our cars. So apparently he was invited by the president of his country, that is Zimbabwe, the president of Zimbabwe, to come and show what he has done or the invention that he made and explain it to the public and also to the president. So I got a video on that and that's what we are going to be reacting to. And just know that anything I say is just based on my own opinion. I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I'm just using my own opinion to attest to the matter. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The president, Comrade Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa, is soon to launch two cars and a motorbike made by a Zimbabwean inventor, Songolani Chikumbuso. Chikumbuso, a 44-year-old man, a resident of Zuarese Kwainarare, dropped from school when he was in Form 2 due to financial constraints. He started his journey of making gadgets in the late 1990s, making a radio transmitter, digital navigator. Wait a minute. I think I've seen this. I think that I've seen that thing somewhere before. Maybe on Amazon or something. Or AliExpress. Anyway, let's continue. Navigator, turbine engine using scrap metal. And in 2009, he began his journey into green energy. Wow. Here he may explain it to the president, Comrade Emerson Dabozo of Nagagwa at State House. No fuel, nothing. Nothing, no fuel. First in the world. The first in the world. Get this power from the sky. Yeah, from the radio frequency. This one you have in Zimbabwe. Yes, we have done it in Zimbabwe. Can you explain? So first of all, this just looks like a regular electric car. You can see the components. It just looks like a regular electric car. So. Anyway, we'll see what he explains. We'll see what he talks about. Yeah. So the vehicle is what we call a microsonic energy device. That is the after our own story. Yeah, the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, it is the the device that I personally invented in 2009, wow. which harnesses radio frequencies converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less. Wait a minute. So, I don't know whether this is a different, uh, a different unit of radio frequencies, but I know that radio frequencies are measured in hertz. So, maybe this one is maybe when he converted to volts or something. I don't know. Well, let's continue. Than a volt, they are just in like nothing but we find a way of harnessing it through the 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 creation of uh, the 70 percent of the components in the microsonic energy which i tell me to have designed so so also one thing to because what he said was that the radio frequencies are measured in nanovolts and by nanovolts meaning that they are way 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 lesser than the normal volts we all know like they are way, 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 way let, lesser than the normal votes we all know. Which means that the amount of electricity that you'll be getting from these radio frequencies is going to be small. So which means that you need to have a lot of radio frequencies, like a whole lot, in order to even compensate for the amount of energy that the car is going to require. So I don't know whether maybe he amplifies it using that his device or I, I don't know, or maybe he just gathers a lot. So the fact that he's saying that he's able to use gather all these radio frequencies that are in nano volts. And gather them together that there'll be so much that they can power a car like this. That is just crazy. Those are the components that mark, that, that enable uh, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy. And this is the first time in the world. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy in, thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. 
So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 308 Newton meters of torque. And that are just basic, fast. basic electric, electric aspects, like basic, not high level ones, just your average electric aspects. And um, we are talking of a um, horsepower of around 215 yeah. horsepower. So when we compare this car with the with the same cars of of this model like the Toyota, the Toyota um, Urban Cruiser you will see that this is um, efficient in everything when you talk of load our car it doesn't weigh much it weighs 1405 kgs only when you talk of an Urban Cruiser you're talking of about 1800 so that means you can carry extra baggage in the vehicle top speed is 220 kilometers per hour yeah, which is fast, it has got two driving modes. We have got the sport mode, which will give you zero to 100 kilometers per hour in around two seconds. That is very, very powerful. Then we have got what we call a normal driving mode when you want to drive like in town. You can select that one so that it, it won't give you. The funny thing about this is that he's, he used more time to explain the specs of the car than to even explain what his device does or how his device works. And that just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Yeah, a lot of talk. Chukumbo also talks about his journey to Silicon Valley in the United States of America, where he was poisoned mm. together <laughs> with his partner, who passed on for defying the laws of physics. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Uh, so I was always in Zimbabwe and United States of America. But but why would they poison him? That's the question. He said that because they defy the law of thermodynamics. Because what I know is that if you defy that if that's what he did, if he defy the law of thermodynamics, then they will just ignore him because they see that it doesn't make sense. So why would they go that extra mile to poison him? That's what I don't understand. There are many ways that they could have sent him back to his country or something like that. But why would they go so far to poison him? Is it that they knew that what he's doing is is uh, is going to work or something? I don't even know, Seth. This story doesn't really add up to me. Until it's he heard about myself, then he invited the he, president. He, the president, yes. Then he invited me to 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 come back and put my base in Zimbabwe. So right now I'm based in Zimbabwe. Best advantage: they could the driving range is unlimited. I charge this way. I eat with my kids. I didn't really hear the language you were speaking. I didn't really understand the language you were speaking. But I don't know whether I heard that he said that the driving range is unlimited. And the car is going to last for, is it 2 years or 20 years? Wait, let me, let me see. Best advantage, they could have the driving range is unlimited. I charge this way, I eat with my kids. I'm going to drive for the next 20 years. 20 years? Kai! He said the car is going to last for 20 years. How is that even possible? And like, if you don't understand why I'm surprised, then let me just explain everything to you. So, electric cars, normal electric cars. Let's just assume that this is radio frequency stuff. It is, it is, it works and it can harness unlimited energy from the sun. These normal electric cars, they have batteries in them. And these batteries are limited. You cannot have unlimited battery storage. Depending on the car, the battery is going to be in relation to how big the car is. If the car is big, you have more space for battery. If the car is small, less space for battery. This is a smaller type electric car, so it will have less batteries. So even if it's able to get unlimited power from radio waves, so which means that the car is going to be charging for 20 years. So it means the car will be, as the car is driving on the road, it will be charging, 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 charging for 20 years. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense now. Even there are even instances where the car is going to uh, expend more power faster than the batteries are able to get charged. So what would you do then? Because it doesn't make sense. This doesn't. This doesn't just make sense to me. Because twenty years. 
the motor car is a true tourist. Yeah, the market. The same rule. I'm number plates. From 2015, we have been working hard, testing it, homologations, CBCA certifications, ISO certifications, FCC standards. She said, "I'm not And what he's saying, at least he should give us proof. That is the only way that it it will be able to calm me down. He should give us proof. He should drive this car maybe from one part of his country to another part. Just drive the car and let's see whether this car is going to uh, this car is going to what do you call it? It's going to last for that long. Because unlimited range, come on, this, this just doesn't. This is just unrealistic. Unlimited range, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't believe this. I don't believe it. So even when it comes to Zimbabwe, it went through VAT. Sagaya so motkari akum from it to Ofimba Road. You are the inventor. Yeah, I'm the one who invented the technology. President Munangagwa says he called him back home to do his work here in Zimbabwe and is happy to grace the occasion when the vehicles are launched. Is there any other vehicle in the world? Uh, with this technology, you know, this is the first vehicle in the world. Where is it? Here in Zimbabwe. This is my only vehicle. It's about in 3 million. I said, let them eat 3 million. And one thing that I also noticed that I'm still trying to understand because he's saying that the car uses radio frequencies, right? And the way radio frequencies work is that in order, in order for you to get or uh, access radio frequency, you need at least some sort of antenna that can get in contact that 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 can get in call in that can get in contact with the radio frequencies and take it into the system. You understand? So I'm not seeing any sort of antenna or anything on the car. And by the look of this, he's saying that the device is embedded inside the, the inside the car, the bonnet side. So how are the how is the radio frequency going to pass? Because one thing you should know that radio frequencies cannot penetrate through metal. You understand? They can't penetrate through metal. Only non-conductors like wood, plastic, and stuff like that. That's why even our phones, most phones that are made out of metal, they always have some sort of a plastic band at the side that that is used as the antenna so that the radio frequencies and signals will be able to pass through it so if that is the case how is the radio frequencies able to pass through the car bonnet and enter into that his device before it can be able to convert it to your normal electricity that he's saying i'm not saying anything like that there's no antenna and in order to even harness all those that amount of radio frequencies that will be able to convert to the electricity to power the car you need a couple of antennas because you cannot just use just one tiny radio antenna no it won't work like that now it won't work so you need a lot of antennas that can harness all this power and send it to the vehicle to be connect connected to to be converted to uh electricity and even that theory self i'm not even sure of it but let's just assume because <laughs> a lot of things do not add up here come here eat something <laughs> But he's, he's more educated than engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this thing from the time he began doing these things, I've been supporting him. Yes. Throughout. Yeah, he was making television at my house. And they can have a television, and there's no wire. We can listen to all stations which we want on Tamak. This is what you call wow, it. Wow, I'm checking. Drone. Drone. Yeah. This would make a drone. So you made one. This is two years ago. Yes, yes. You made a drone. You can make a drone from here. So apparently he has done all that things and they said he did he made a TV with no cables that can get all the signals. So it's possible that it might be legit. Let's continue. Put up wires together and they put something around it. You can fly to Cape Town and could be back. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There's no R in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world and it is here in Zimbabwe, by this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. But when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some, I think they hold the wires. <laughs> it's it, but I now know that it's well connected, all connected. To the layman, these two vehicles which were brought to State House in a motorcycle use radio frequencies that it powers these vehicles. No electricity, no liquid fuels, and they are silent when traveling. 
clocking a speed of up to over 220 kilometers per hour and have all the trappings of modern vehicles. The current vehicles were assembled in China using Chikumbuso's power train of radio frequency. So, they said that this is the only vehicle in the world that has this technology. And it was also assembled in China. If truly this vehicle was assembled in China, then they would have probably even made other replicas and, and sold it. Doesn't that make sense? Because how would this type of technology that is so juicy, that is so uh, attractive, that is so sought after, in quote or in quote, how can a technology like this get into the hands of people like that, like the Chinese, even the American self? These people are people that are always looking for opportunities to improve their technologies and stuff like that. So if they see something like this and they will not add this to their own designs, then how is that even possible? Because if they saw something like this, they would have probably put inside many of their cars and they will start having radio frequency powered cars on the road everywhere. But they haven't done that because I've not even seen any news about that. Even the website of this car, this brand, when I went to research on it, I didn't see anything about radio frequencies. Just normal cars, normal electric cars that uses normal uh plug from your ac socket so i don't know how they were able to i don't know the partnership he had with them or the agreement he had with them that they were able to not temper with his design or not even implement his design in their own vehicles so i don't really understand that if he fully produced the vehicles could cut his zimbabwe fuel import and sungulani suspects that the oil and vehicle manufacturers in the United States could have had a hand in his poisoning. Soon Zimbabwe will launch to the world what her young minds can do for the country and humanity, said the president. Ruben Barwe ZBC News, Status Harare. So let me know in the comment section whether all the things the man said so far actually made sense to you because me personally some of the things he said were not really sitting right with me so the question right now is that is he a scammer or a genius leave your thoughts down there and if you want to see more videos like this on my channel feel free to let me know and i'll see you guys in the next one